sunscreen is so delish. I, ah, I saved the best for the last. But I saw it on Instagram and I was hooked. Hey guys, it's Sue here. Come back to my channel. And for today's video, I think you guys are gonna love it. I'm going to be reviewing 10 new sunscreens. Brands have been coming out with new formulas left and right. And so I thought I'd just grab everything and review. We have a lot to go through. So let's just get this video started. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, fellas. Come on. Oh, before I get started, let me know which of the newer sunscreens you are enjoying currently so I can check them out. Sometimes I actually look forward more to these comments. All right, guys, starting out with two sunscreens from Innisfree. I gotta say, I have a couple of favorites from this batch and they're definitely one of my favorites. Let's start off with this delicious Hyaluron Moist Sunscreen, SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This sunscreen is so delish. I've already showed this to you guys in my base makeup routine, right? This feels so light, so, so watery, like its name. It's Hyaluron, Hyaluron Moist Sunscreen. It is very, very hydrating and even more hydrating than the Round Lab one, I dare say. It's lighter, it's more refreshing, it's more watery. Oh, <laughs> snort sometimes when I get too excited. Starting off strong, guys, we're starting off strong. Uh, this is a chemical sunscreen and it has eight different types of hyaluronic acids, H, cordata, and metacazocide, and it apparently has like 71% of like moisture essence and it's just telling us that it's very very hydrating which I will not disagree. So with the formula, Innisfree describes it as an essence and it almost doesn't feel like it has a body to it. So with some sunscreens when you pump it out you can definitely feel that gel texture to it. This one once you start spreading it out it just melts out like psh, like straight away and you don't feel any consistency or viscosity to it and I think that's what makes it such a great product to work under your base. I mentioned this before, makeup artists, they don't like using sunscreens because it can peel under your makeup. I cannot live without sunscreen. Oh my gosh. It's like, I would feel like a vampire going out in the sun without a sunscreen. So I need my sunscreen, but I also don't want my makeup to peel under my makeup. And so these formulas would be just perfect, perfect. Oh, and in terms of UV filters, this does contain four different types. It contains Uvinyl A+, Uvinyl T150. I did not memorize this. There was way too much uh, to absorb M and is cotrizinol. So it has a bunch, so it's going to protect your skin all around from the SPF. So it is a great, great, great sunscreen. And I remember I did purchase this myself and I don't remember this being too expensive. I got it on the website and it is 50 mil. And so I think this is a great sunscreen for all skin types to use all year round. And I know a lot of people like the Innisfree Blueberry Line sunscreen. If you're a fan of that, check this out. It even has a similar scent. I can definitely smell a bit of fragrance to it, but it's not overwhelming. Another lovely sunscreen I picked up from Innisfree is this anti-aging serum sunscreen. So the whole purpose, you all know the whole purpose of wearing an SPF is to protect your skin and also to prevent it from aging, right? So with this one, they're just like, hmm, why not add more additional anti-aging ingredients to it? So they've included rosemary extract, which is very potent in anti oxidant effects. Sorry, I had a little brain fart there. And they also made their formula so that it fits the whole anti-aging concept. Now, before we go on though, I will say a lot of sunscreen products out there, they do have additional ingredients that are great for anti-aging, such as niacinamide, for example. So this product is not exclusively great for anti-aging, but I just think they just target it that way. And their formula does feel different, like I said. So unlike the Hyaluron that I just showed you guys, this one does have more of a body to it. It feels almost like a gel type of texture, and it almost feels like a serum, like a skincare serum that you would apply onto your skin and it's very, very hydrating as well. Once you spread it out, you don't get any of that thickness either. Also one of those formulas that just melts down wonderfully on your skin. But I will say, the f as for the finish, the Hyalur Moist Sunscreen leaves a much more hydrating finish. It's like bursts of water and hydration. With this one, it's a little bit more subtle. It absorbs, it seems to absorb a lot faster and a lot quicker than the Hyaluron one. Oh, and I'm so sorry guys, this one doesn't have a white cast 
particularly but I've noticed that with this one with the first layer with the first five minutes you do get a very sheer sheen of that milkiness it does disappear so don't worry but uh, just putting that out there now unlike that one this one does not have any white cast at all no milkiness no sheen of that sheer white cast nothing nada so I'd say this is a little bit more subdued a little bit more composed than the yellow one this one is like kind of like your you know fun teenager who just wants to have fun in water park this one is kind of like your more you know 20s a little bit more composed you know a little bit more refined so this one is definitely more concentrated and it's less shiny let what what yeah all PS this is also a chemical sunscreen it also contains four different types of oh sorry five different types of wait one two three four five yeah I can count it has Uvula T150, Mixoral SX, Uvula A+, Parasol SLX, and Tetrasorb S. So it has a bunch, there's a lot of UV filters. So once again, you don't have to worry about that in that area. All right, next up, I have two different sunscreens from Round Lab. And when I kind of teased about this video on Instagram, a lot of you guys were really interested and invested in these two products in particular. And I think it's because the Round Lab the birch tree juice crap sunscreen you guys know the one that I love is so popular everyone loves it and for a very very good reason it's such a wonderful formula very lotion like very sun uh, very skincare like um just to give you guys a little preview I think I was a little bit underwhelmed with these two and this is just because I also was so taken away by the beauty of the birch tree sunscreen the original one that I think that really did set the bar up high for these two. But anyways, let's go into the details. So starting off with a sun cushion, this is a physical sunscreen. It contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Is that right? Oh my God, I'm getting confused. Titanium dioxide. As it is with all sun cushions, you get this little puff and the sponge soaked in with the SPF. And all you do is press down and you just cover your face up and you just use it as how you would use an ordinary cushion. I think when I first got this and was first trying it out, I expected this to be very, very hydrating just because the sunscreen bottle was so hydrating as well. This one felt kind of like the other sun cushions out there. It didn't feel particularly different. I'm not saying this is a bad product at all. It does go on evenly. It gives you a bit of that white cast and it's very neat. I will say the whole experience of using this is very neat. It doesn't get messy. It does get removed under your mask. So you do definitely have to reapply this throughout the day. To be honest, I don't know if it's because I'm using it in the winter times because in order to see if a sun cushion is effective, you've got to try it out the summer to see how it mixes in with your sebum and that sweat but it is the winter time so I don't sweat as much and I don't get oily as much and so because of that it did stay on pretty neatly and I was very very pleased with the experience um, but other than that I don't know I think I was just expecting a little bit something like a little bit of that oof from Round Lab because I honestly love the brand so much but this was kind of like yeah, sure, why not? That kind of product. And then moving on to the sunstick. Now the sunstick, I was a lot more impressed by. This definitely feel a lot more hydrating and this definitely gave me what I expected. So this is also a chemical UV. Let me just give you guys the filters. It has UV A+, UV T150, and Tinosorb S. And all you gotta do is just apply it wherever you want, on whatever surface. I think that's the best thing about sunsticks and sun cushions. They're so, so convenient and honestly, they're great for reapplying throughout the day. And the reason why I was so impressed with this one is because it feels cooling. It honestly feels cooling once you're, when you're applying it on. Oh, sure. And the sunstick just glides on so easily. Y'all know I hate it when it drags. And there are sunsticks that does that. And so I honestly thought that the finish would be a bit tacky, but it's 
not it's not that bad it's actually really like considering how hydrating and cooling it feels i will say the finish it does dry down once time goes by so it's not as bad but overall with the whole experience i definitely did enjoy using this very very nice next i have the hyaluronic acid natural sun cream and this is indeed a physical sunscreen and let me just say one thing y'all know i can't do physical sunscreens i hate using physical sunscreens because they're they're so pasty they're so unpleasant to use I just rather live in a cave with no sunlight than use a physical sunscreen that's how much I hate using sun physical sunscreens but I will say this is the least unpleasant physical sunscreen I've ever used I was so so shocked I will say you can definitely feel the properties of like the traits of a conventional physical sunscreen it's kind of pasty white too but it's less tacky stiff and pasty it's kind of like an upgraded better version of physical sunscreens which i'm so excited about because hopefully one day we'll get physical sunscreens that feel as pleasant as chemical sunscreens this does contain zinc oxide for its filter so it's going to also protect your skin from spf and going back to the formula once you pump it out it deceivingly looks like a chemical sunscreen actually as a matter of fact when i first used this i thought this was a chemical sunscreen but as i was applying it i was like oh you you're feeling a little bit stiff to be a chemical sunscreen but it wasn't to a point where i was like you're physical where i was like certain it was a physical it the formula sits somewhere in between and i think that's why i don't mind using this i especially like using this when i go work out and i just need a bit more of that grass so it doesn't like melt down immediately under my sweat so honestly guys the formula is so pleasant like it's great to like get along with it it's like that cool friend that gets along with everyone that i wouldn't mind using this on a normal daily basis for reals uh so this if you're into physical sunscreens you're not a fan of chemicals and you want something that feels better <laughs> than the conventional ones out there definitely check this out i was mind blown i was like damn you good yes i just want to mention y'all know i've been using milk cleansers right but with this one you definitely need to use it use an oil cleanser because it will it will linger it will it will hold on for its dear life onto your skin so make sure to do a thorough job in cleansing your skin out all right moving on to the next three sunscreens i have here i have the one for perito boj mixer and the reason why i'm showing you guys these three at the same time is because they have very very similar formulations and it did take me a while to differentiate them so let me go through that one by one. Let's go into the deets and I'll tell you guys what makes them different. First starting out with burrito. Ah, okay, before we start guys, I just would like to give a shout out to burrito because I, fe I feel like they're the one that fell the hardest when the whole SPF fiasco happened. They honestly, they took the bullet for everyone because because it turns out that the sunscreens from the other brands they were also lacking in the spf protection and it, they were not performing as they claimed to be so but i think Perito was the one that you know took it the hardest you know they they honestly they were like the scapegoat not the scapegoat but you got you guys know what i mean now they're back and they're back strong so this is their new daily go-to sunscreen and they've used a blend of both chemical and physical filters specifically they use uh, Tinea Sorb S, Juvenile T150, Titanium Dioxide, and Juvenile A+. And I feel like, I just feel like they used a blend of both physical and chemical to be really safe. Like, hey, we now come with full protection. And so I thought that was kind of like endearing. As for the formula, this is a very, very light, airy one. Very similar to like the Round Lab one. Very lotion-like. But out of these three, I would say this is the least hydrating so for example with the boj one this one will give you that kind of gleam or sheen of hydration afterwards as if you've done your whole full skincare routine this the perito one is also very hydrating but the finish is a little bit more subdued a little bit more calmed down so it's not like you're getting these bursts of hydration it's just a nice like a lotion type really and so this is definitely a formula that i think all skin types would get on board with all year round it's n it's not too hydrating nor too drying at all this one just sits right in the middle all right moving on to the mixu one this was this one is a 
tad bit more hydrating than the Purito, but not as much as the BOJ one. This was hot. This was kind of like doing a science project. So the sunscreen from Mixun I have here is the Centella Sun Cream, and this is a chemical SPF. As a matter of fact, it has UV Lutility, T150, and Tunisorb S, and other uh, UV filters. And this, the formula feels a bit more lighter than the Perito one, but it leaves a more hydrating finish afterwards like the Hyaluron one. This one, oh my gosh, it just feels like I've just did my whole 10 step skincare routine. And like it's named Centella, it does have Metacasocyte Centella in it, but it only has 970 ppm, which I thought wasn't too much, especially if you're gonna name a product after it. I expected at least, I don't know, 20,000 ppm. I, of course, don't know how the formulation goes with sunscreen, so I don't know if that's possible. But I'm like, oof, that doesn't really sound much. But anyways, but the whole concept behind this is that it's not only going to give you SPF protection, but it's also going to calm your skin down with Centella. And I will say this was the priciest out of these three. I think BOJ was the most affordable and this one was the most expensive. So bear that in mind. Now going last to BOJ. I know this one is Yunyani's favorite. She loves using this and I gotta say for a very good reason. I can't disagree with her. This is a wonderful product. Like I said, the BOJ one is the most hydrating one. This has a formula most closest to the Round Lab one. You guys remember how I always explain that when I use the Round Lab one, it leaves a gleam of like sheet, like hydrating sheen on top as if like I got a spa or something. Thing. This one leaves the exact kind of finish afterwards. So I feel like, you know, they're, as a matter of fact, seven out of 10, like I have 10 sunscreens to show you guys. Seven of them are made in coma. So they're all like manufactured from the same factory, which I was like a little bit, I don't know, I wasn't disappointed, but it kind of felt boring, you know? I'd like to see more variety in formulations, and you guys know I don't like it when a brand just copies another brand. Anyways, going back to the BOJ one. So this one also has rice extracts in it, and you can easily double this up as skincare, to be honest. At the initial pump, you can definitely feel that it has more volume compared to other products, so you're like, ooh, is this going to be a bit more cream-like than lotion-like? But when you spread it out, it just melts on like, psh, once again, the volume just disappears. And I feel like this does give you more hydration or moisture compared to other sunscreens. And that's why I know Union actually likes to double the up as our skincare as well. I believe they upgraded this one and they've included like two more UV chemical filters. So they have even the A+, uh, you've been the T150, Tinosorb M, and Escotrizinol. So four UV filled, chemical UV filters. So I guess with these three, I think they are pretty much similar. It all just depends on what kind of finish you want. Like if you want more of a hydrating finish, I definitely recommend the Mixun and the BOJ one. Or it may depend on the accessibility. Maybe the BOJ is available to be delivered in your area, but like the Perita one isn't. So I guess it depends on what your, what your cup of tea is, you know, what your budget looks like, so bear that in mind. All right, next is a sunscreen that isn't actually new, but I've always wanted to try it, and I'm so glad that I did, and I'm also really late to this trade, because I know a lot of you guys really like the sunscreen, but it's the Etrid UV Double Cut. This is their Double Cut Aqua Sun Essence. Holy moly, this is the lightest, runniest, wateriest, is that even a word? formula I've ever tried in a sunscreen. It's actually even more watery than the Hyaluron Moist sunscreen. And this is so affordable, WTF. I think uh, I wrote down the price because I was so impressed by it. It's only 16,001 in Korea and this is 15 mil. It says, I don't know what is, what's the Korean pricing for BOJ, but it's as cheap. So I was like, damn, like Etwit, come through. Yes, yes, yes. This is a sunscreen that's very true to its name. It's hella hydrating, even more than this one. Like. Like this, this one beats out this one for sure. So whereas all of the other chemical sunscreens that I've shared with you guys have all of that lotion-y kind of like cream, like emollient formula, this one is just straight up runny. Like it's straight up watery. It's amazing. This one also leaves your skin looking extremely hydrated with that sheen of hydration on top. And this is also another one that will work great under your base makeup because like I said, it's very watery. The finish is very glowy, but I wouldn't say this is 
oily per se. I feel like even if you have oily skin types, you'd really, really enjoy this. And oh, and this also has four different types of chemical filters. This is a chemical sunscreen. It has Uvalin A+, Uvalin T150, Tensorb M, and is Cotrizinol. As a matter of fact, it has the exact same UV filters as the Enix 3 one. Yeah, they were also manufactured by Calma. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you have dry skin, you'd really appreciate these two ones. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, I say the best for the last. Uh, this sunscreen is not new either, but I saw it on Instagram and I was hooked. And so I went to Olive Young and I picked this up myself because I needed to try it. And it is the Derma B Everyday Sunblock. And guys, this is 200 mil. 200 mil SPF. Can you guys imagine? I'm gonna have to prepare my next big products video because y'all know, I love them big. I never seen an SPF that comes in a 200 mil bottle. So. And the pricing wasn't bad either. Uh, I think in Olive, I got it on sale. I got a, like an additional discount, but it didn't go over 30,000 won. It was, it was in like the 20s range. So oh, I was like, you like, I was like so excited. I was like, you better be good so I can show you off to my followers. But yeah, uh, it turns out the formulation passes. Yes. So this also has a lotion-y type of formulation but it feels a bit more concentrated than the other like these three ones for example like kind of like milto isa like chalgi ga dukkyeojo you know what i'm saying <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I lost my English. That's what that's what's happening. I'm just losing my English. But once again, it just blends out really, blends out really well, absorbs into your skin. I've noticed that this doesn't feel as like hydrating as these two ones for sure. It kind of has a finish similar to the Purito one, I wanna say. And also this product is for like a family, so babies can use it. And so they probably did test it out and made sure everything was safe for everyone to use. This is such a bang for your buck because especially with sunscreens, cause sunscreens is not like a luxury in your, in your skincare, right? It's not like an essence, it's something, essence SPF is something we have to use every single day, not for just the appearance of our skin, but to actually protect it from SPF, from, from damage, right? So it's an essential that we have to use every day. So sometimes, and sometimes sunscreens can be expensive. And so the fact that this is a 200 mil and that it only costs like $25, that is such a steal and that is so worth it. Now the only downside of this product is that it does have fragrance and it smells like sweet Play-Doh, I've noticed. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's, I, you know, I didn't realize how strong of a part fragrance can play when using a Prada because honestly, there were times where I hesitated reaching out for this just because of the scent. Cause I'm like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna smell sweet Play-Doh first thing in the morning. So I would obviously reach out for other ones, but it's not bad. It's not bad guys, it's not bad. And it's pretty on the subtle side. So, I mean, if you're on a budget, you guys just need a big SPF to use all around. It's not stiff. Uh, definitely check this one out. This is actually for your like face and body. I've noticed that this is like sold out on every single platform like Star Korean, Yes Style, and uh, last time I checked, this was only available on Style Vana, and I'll link that down below. But get your hands on this before. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope this video helped you guys in picking out new SPF. If you were on a hunt for a new one, cause. All brands have to just decided to discontinue their original SPF and just come out with reformulation, which I don't know. I'm just a little like, uh, why don't you just fess up to your mistakes and be like, hey, we're sorry, but we are great. Okay, th that is a whole different story. But what's important is that we have SPF that works with good UV filters and pleasant formulations. So yeah, uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next. Ciao!